want when people look at uh, Cloud9 BC game Dota 2 that they see a team that's unpredictable, that they will bring really fun to the game. So I want them to look at my drafts and it's like, what the is this guy doing? Like, why? You know, did he press a wrong button? What they mean with this, those heroes? And at the end, we have a really cool plan and we're gonna have fun in the game and hopefully win the game because I feel most teams, they just uh, play what's the total meta. They just copy other teams. They don't have their own strategies. And sometimes when you lose with something new, I feel like some hate, like, why, why are they doing this right now? But I think it's cool. Like, you should try new things. That's how you have fun. It's a game after all. So we should be the team that you look at, that they're having fun, and very likely they're going to win having fun. There's also you never ask a white and white. Yes, never ask a 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 white. Yes, Okay. Timber will tip it. Timber tip it. Otherwise, my hero is too bad. I don't know if you can buy a sub-diff. I don't know if you can buy a sub-diff. My name is Filip Astini, and I the coach called Astini. That's my tag. <laughs> I started my coaching career in Dota around 2017 to 2018. I actually made like an in-house league and then I made a team of the in-house league and I was just a team owner and then I realized there were no coaches in Brazil and that the players they didn't not know enough about the game and that I could do some research and help the team. So DM is from Russia. Kataom is from Russia, no one's from Ukraine, Fishman's from Belarus, and uh, Watson's from Kazakhstan. I'm Brazilian. That means <laughs> all of them speak Russian, and uh, I speak Portuguese, or <laughs> we speak English with each other. I'm trying to learn Russian, but actually, I found out they communicate uh, better in game when they communicate in English, so I'm not like try hiding on learning Russian anymore. They still speak uh, Russian in game. Like at screens, I'd say it's like 20% Russian, 80% English. And officials, unfortunately, kind of uh, switch over to more Russian than English. But now that I can hear the official comms, I see they're back into English because it's good that you play the same way that you practice. And we found out the practices that we just play better when we do in English. It, we are more focused on objectives and not saying useless stuff. What are we doing now, bro? We're going to Medio, my friend. Um, and what are we gonna do there? Pause or something? We're gonna do our job. Nice. We're gonna do some job. Light camera action. All eyes on me. Me, 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 me. All eyes on me. Me, 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 me. I'm all that you see. See, see. I think this guy actually is best. Watson Dotto. Uh, posing and uh, ruining games for me. <laughs> no. Not approved? Answer not approved or not? <laughs> declined. I declined this answer. I think he's really good at media. But not at ruining games. His Lena performance is masterclass. Absolutely. One hero player. And also Morphling. He's one hero player. <laughs> one Lena and <laughs> Jirjal. <laughs> I 
Uh, my name is Ladislav. I play for uh, Cloud9 BC game Dota 2. Hi, I'm Watson, playing for Cloud9. My name is Alim Jean. My Watson is uh, quiet and uh, chill in the game, I think, and outside of the game also, like same. No one uh, in game he is active, uh, more vocal. But actually in uh, real life also, he's vocal. Yeah. DM probably the same. Like he likes to talk and call a lot in the game. And I mean, in real life also. I mean, we are all the same actually, like in game and outside of the game. Loud. <laughs> yes, everyone loud. Only me not loud. Communication is key in Dota 2. I believe uh, what really the first strong teams, tier 1 teams from tier 2 teams is communications. Because the game is really dynamic and you really need to be fast on objectives and be able to bring five heroes together to the same objective. But on the same time, if you're walking with five heroes together all the time, you're losing the game because the enemy is getting more out of the map. So you need to communicate really fast and effective so you can grab the five together whenever it's needed as fast as possible. So if your communication is not clean, if you're talking useless things, you just gonna die or be late for objectives. So, like, uh, some things doesn't go our way and we should still be able to perform good. We cannot let like one small thing make us uh, perform bad, you know, like, we need the, uh, you know, old man would tell me either you have excuses or you have results. You should choose one. I like to choose results. Chat wanted to a lot of damage on the Enchantress as well, but Monet is gone. Oh my god, where'd he go? <laughs> Nothing to say, he's gone. Damn, he's gonna be able to catch up the puck, they're all dead. Uh, and this game is over, it's been over for a long time as well. Holds a sniper into place, Tundra trying to take the fight with the numbers disadvantage, but they are forced to. There is just no escape from them, they have to stand their ground, but the Fiend's Crypt stops Pure from being able to right click at all. And when the Grave is making it so frustrating, Pure might be able to TP up, but the Nightmare stops him short. They also catch up Thompson inside the tree line and Cloud9, they are back with a bang. An incredible team fight from them. The lasso off of the Murata. They go to the Fiend's Grip, they'll kill Abakashi. They're gonna look to beat up everybody else. WS ends up falling. Makoto and Jokem looking at whether or not they want to go in, but they get the kill to Jokem. They'll look over at the rest as the fall of the Nightmare from the Omni Knight. Now it's gonna be a full That's team wipe as Hanyo is the last one to run. And the arrow will connect triple kill for Watson. Oh, what do we have here? It's not a Christmas, but seems like a big box of good stuff. Let's have a look. Wow. Wow. Seems like it seems like it's our own Santa, Cloud9 and BC game with real good jerseys here. Yeah, yeah. So it's people ordered. Yeah, many of this. And I guess that's a keybo. Key cups. Key cups. Yeah. Santa? You get this also? I don't know. right? Oh, that seems like a t shirt already from a brother. Maybe. Cool one. One piece. I knew I don't use this. Okay. Wow, there are some, some more stuff. That's a bag, because I always wear like this bags, so. I already one for myself. And so even more. Wow, guys. Unbelievable. White uh, jersey or hoodie. Yeah, hoodie, I guess. We need to find your size later. But yeah, because I also ordered. The beanie. I ordered one also. I ordered, I ordered everything I could, <laughs> bro. They, they tell me I can choose whatever I want. It looks cool. This looks is for. Cool. It actually looks cool. It's going to be for like a, brothers. Uh, my nephew when it's cold. Really, really cute. Really cute. We have, uh, it's also in like, uh, like a 15 it's Korean. It's Korean. Yeah. 
This is my dog I proof. Guys, I found it. It's for me. Woo! Oh, my dog. Yeah. It's like it's like black with blue, looking great. Has a logo, has a name, has like a Cloud9 your logo, Red Bull, which is actually very tasty, and BC game, which is great for gaming. So that's just perfect. Well, this stuff is so good and comfortable. It's actually crazy. Like, it's so comfy. Yeah, there are some features like. Uh, what is, uh, I oh, a lot of things oh, so you have some ventilation and stuff. The, the pockets, the pockets is really big for all the stuff like badges, K card rooms and stuff. Oh, yeah. Very comfy and very beautiful. Yeah. This logo is very good. Large and small things. Hello guys, I'm selling all clothes from everyone. So I stole this jacket, Cloud9, with fairy tail. Or just tail. Uh huh, yes, microphone. This hoodie, all Cloud9. This I got. Oh, Yes, that's all. Now I will steal this. It's medium size. I'm not the biggest guy, but medium. I take this. One piece, fans. Then. But most uh, they didn't exist, right? Uh, 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 have to wait, billion time more. Uh, before Cloud9, we was playing under uh, Team Tech Entity. It was a big surprise for Cloud9 to just message our uh, previous owners to, to buy us, actually, whole roster. So When I have heard about Cloud9, I was always very surprised. <laughs> because our manager told, like, he, after screams, he will say very, very very good news and when he told this we, we was very happy i know cloud9 for a long time i know there was a lot of leg legendary players from cs and uh, mostly like shroud and stuff like this team but uh, i know this team tech for my like almost whole life like cloud9 you know, everyone knows. i think i'm i want to make uh, cloud9 fans proud of what my and our, my team performance, so we don't let you down and stuff, so, yeah. Look at it, they got the Sunstrike down on the Sweden Strom, it's not enough to kill him. Indeed, immediately dead on the Sand King. They're trying to go for Fishman. Fishman's what surviving through this. The Black Hole's off from DM. He's caught the two cores. Chira Jr. is gone. Same to be said for Munkoshi. I mean, they're just too far behind. Too they just far don't behind. have the damage. They do not have the survivability. 1W as they get team wiped by Cloud9. I A defensive nightmare comes out. No one's able to get the BKB. Boundless try out onto the two of them. Munkoshi will be back in action. Jumps in. He's been able to take down one. He's going to look towards no one. He, he can't doesn't fight him. have the damage. Munkoshi has to run back towards the fountain. GG is called Cloud9. They'll take the series 2 0, knocking 1W down to the lower yeah. bracket. And Cloud9, they'll move over in the upper. I have your badge, Ian. Uh, okay, nice one. Okay, you know, I have zero, zero, twenty-five. Yeah. Perfect score. Alim, imagine you win with an invoker, safe lane, you're zero, zero, twenty-five. Nobody will ever do this again. This is our boss. Mino ten, zero, zero, seven. Alim, что ты понимал? У тебя было zero, zero, seven. У меня в прошлое было zero, zero, seven. Into типа zero, zero, eighteen. Понял? <laughs> the group stage of TI doesn't really matter if you like the outcome, but for us, what matters is like uh, building confidence. Getting results kind of uh, help you get more confident and maybe reduce the pressure and feel like you can perform 
under pressure, you know, so it's like a, it's actually good that you don't have that much of pressure, but at the same time it's already TI, so you're kind of like building this like resilience, uh, building a way to deal with the stress, with the pressure. And so that's what meant for me, I, I don't really care if we win or lose, it's just like how we reacting and I feel like we react really well to it. We did 5-1 in group stage, we... Honestly, the match we lost to Tundra would be, if I would look at the six drafts, would be the one that for sure we should win. We played the heroes that we... We were so good at the heroes that we stopped uh, playing the heroes because it's like there's no point in keeping playing this if it's a free win, they eventually ban the heroes. It's kind of a benefit that you get uh, by getting first place, but usually it can end up really bad because it kind of creates pressure in the environment, creates a lot of unnecessary discussions of like, I want to play this team or I want to play this other team, what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses. After groups you play best of three, which gonna decide uh, you go upper bracket or lower. So we basically played versus one win, uh, this best of three, which decided that we gonna go upper bracket. Game was also pretty stable and easy. We play against Aurora next, it doesn't mean anything at all in that sense. Uh, as I said, I don't care which team. It can be Aurora, it can be like this Division 5 SA team, it can be Team Spirit, uh, TI champions, GG, Riyadh champions. It should not mean anything, it should mean that we play our best. And if we play our best, we should win against any team. Also, if we play our worst, we can lose against any team. Cloud9, who is your uh, dark horse, Fia. You've said it every day. You want people out there to know that this team, they've got something for them. In fact, they've been doing really well. They've been able to get a uh, majority of wins here for themselves. And I'm sure that you have belief they'll, they'll take this one. And whenever I see interviews from C9, especially if it's no one, like he just oozes confidence, whether it's warranted or not, right? I know C9, they're on the up. They made roster changes. Ever since they made roster changes, they're winning and they're confident. Put on cooldown by the hits. Can look for like a fissure and a spear back. All five heroes back up. They don't go for the spear back. And DM, oh, he hits awesome. the back line with a beautiful stop and no one rolls in after him. Hits a beautiful back to ties on the board. They almost managed the first down. Watson, this time it was much closer for 23 Savage. Jumps after him and he's not going to get it. Game, I think. Is, yeah. These glaives are just going to rip through your face. Man, Cloud9, I mean, this is a team that when they get their lineups rolling and this ball starts to hit, it is very difficult to take the five on fives. Not a damn thing they can do to Watson with so much effective HP put on this guy. No 23 Savage, no carry to actually get you there. Good. You said no more random shit, let's go jack this. We were almost entering their jungle and fucking things up. Good, good one, bro. Where, where are you fucking things up? What do you mean? And then the jungle and bang? Yeah. Oh. So they don't understand. Well, they have a king and they have okay, farm whole game. Yeah. I like no one idea actually, because then we have like two day free and like one more day free. But it's gonna be so challenge, I give you. No, it's eight. I don't play tomorrow, guys. Yes, 11, 12. We play, okay. <laughs> As we said, two days before official, we play 11, 12. I think 10th, we have day off, as you yes. said, and then 9th, which is tomorrow, we can have two scrims and the rest chill, Maybe for one, example. Around, yeah, one scrim or whatever. Yeah, like two games, two maps, yeah, two for maps. example. So it's half chill, half... But people need to care, we like to play. That's the thing, like... Uh, so like, uh, I honestly can leave it up to you, because you maybe know, but... I'm just I, I honestly think we can take two days uh, free because honestly, like it's not like uh, we're gonna see something new today but that we want we to practice. To yeah. yeah, but like what, what's gonna happen? Like it's gonna happen a lot of lower bracket games that we feel we need to add new heroes. So it's good like to actually have free time to play ranked, and two days before we play screens. Yeah, and I don't even think we will find screens to be honest. Yeah, tomorrow. But honestly, it's something when I was uh, discussing with Noah if uh, I would enter in the team. And I was telling like uh, I need a manager that can be really positive because I sometimes can be really negative because I'm looking like what we can improve between games and I took it actually as a flaw of myself in the past and I've been working really hard to improve it and I think it, I have improved it right now because I got like good feedback but it's not something that uh, I was so good at in the past I'd say like uh, 
especially like uh, I think it really has to do that different languages you have like different like uh, mind. In Portuguese, I'm really toxic, and I, I'm not glad of it. You know, sometimes I'm like, like, are you guys joking with me? Like, what the fuck's going on? Like, why are we playing this? Uh, why I'm wasting my time being here? Like, you guys are crazy. Like, what? Why the fuck's all this happening? You know, like all these words that probably you need to cut when you add it. It's just because like uh, that's my like normal impulsive behavior in Portuguese. You know, so it's something I kind of like been working to improve, and I feel like now. I'm doing well at this because there's no point uh, at bringing like problems if you don't have the solutions. And especially at this team, I feel we play to a level that if we're feeling good, we should win against anything. So I'd say like my biggest focus is that we have good vibes right now. Cloud9 asked about my drip check. It's uh, Travis Scott, Dunk. X Nike, uh, pants uh, Air Jordan, and um, uh, Palm Angels uh, sweater uh, with uh, beer and behind. Uh, yes, uh, that's all. Thank you for watching. I'm a good cash, throw it on you and know how to act. Eagle so big, I'll holler back. Got him like, whoa, let me show you what to do with that. Sweet tooth, yeah, I'm all up in that candy stash, diamond on my ear. Yo, hey guys, hello. Hello. I'm like to meet you. This battery. Good, good to see you. Congratulations. Oh, that's so fun. Oh. Looking really good. <laughs> Fantastic. As I was walking in, I'm pretty sure I saw no one like lifting weights. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. He's in the gym right now. You guys are tall. Yeah. Holy shit. We have a tall team, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a second, you guys are all big. <laughs> that's awesome. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, First person I met when I walked into the hotel was PPD. And I'm like, wow, okay, it's a face I recognize. Yeah. Seen people, same people, it's good. And I was talking to him, like, I haven't met the coach yet, any of the players, and he's like, yeah, you coach, he's right behind you. I'm like, what? He was sitting down at a table behind me, Estini and his uh, family. <laughs> oh, hey. Hello. Nice to meet you. How are you? Uh, Hi. Yeah. I like your shirt. Oh. <laughs> nice. Did you, the, new, the new One Piece collection came out today. Uh, yeah. order. Oh, you ordered it? Yeah. Instant. <laughs> Excellent. Good. You uh, like it? Yes, so much. So good. It becomes the same size. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. that's nice. Good. Awesome. Had a very tough start. No. Doesn't matter how you start, right? Well, that's how you end. Uh, the funny thing, you got into a game with a guy, so you have to, when you enter draft phase, now in Immortal, you choose the people that you play with, basically, oh, really? by rank. So basically, the highest rank, the two highest ranks have are on each opposing team, and they choose the players that they play with from the pool. Yes, so you go by either by rank or by players that you know. So you can choose that. It's been like I think almost a year now since I think last year. Yeah, yeah. and so he didn't remember that he had someone pre-muted, someone he doesn't like, and he chose him on his team, and he absolutely grieved his game. So he was so mad the last ten minutes, and now he's, he's trying to recover. He's playing the same guy right now. Yeah, yeah that's why. Maybe they'll figure it out. Maybe, maybe. But he was furious. <laughs> We don't need to buy back unless the guy was really hard. Did you guys see there's like already like line to it was like two hours ago. Line to To the arena? Yes. But I think uh, will not be full stage. I guess today will not be. F yeah, just like two hours ago.
shoot him down, but no, Watson hops out real quickly, and there it is. A trip through the game will not happen for Fishman. A trip out of this game is all that he has on his itinerary. That is Liquid taking game one. During these diebacks, are they going to play it conservative? Nope, the call has been made. Time to hit tier fours. You need a big curse here. You need to get multiple heroes and set the fight up for Watson to deal the damage. Up the another hero, two versus five down. Hit the stomp, got the doom. Go wait, Not Lincoln's enough. able to block it, but it doesn't matter. The throne is exposed, and Liquid will take the 2-0. Upper bracket for you, you sorry, which one? My hoodie was in the station. We beat everyone now. We got to beat more teams. You heard it was on stage? Yeah, yeah. They took it somewhere. And the guy from my station. And I put it behind chairs and now it's not getting something out I don't know, I actually talked with Chosen that we actually had a game because we got uh, DD in two fights. Like uh, we got DD and we went Roche. Like, I can uh, show two or three moments where we can play bounty better. They play as a team, as five people, they play a bounty. We play only, I play bounty in our team. Like, J for three seconds, take bounty. Better than take one keep. One bounty is 1000 gold. Literally 1000 gold. One bounty. Better than 10 camps. But I felt like we, we haven't used me as uh, you know, like I destroyed the guy. Like he was level four, I was level six. Like I could TP for sides, I could uh, we could destroy mid much more. Once they stole wisdom and we had like clockwork level four to thirty minutes. Yeah, that was a really big for us problem. Like that's uh, yes, that's that's first, and then that's uh, we we didn't like take me tower fastly, and then we could like go sides. Okay, well there we go. I mean, I don't blame them. We saw the chance of turning this one around. It was a little too low for them to fancy their chances in. GG is called. Falcons take game one. That's why I was top with Rubik, and then Rubik said me, get, get the fuck out, and I, I was like, why? You want to listen? You want to listen? Rubik, Bane, me, of course not. And the icon has to be here, and we have to go to the tower, when five heroes are showing up. It's fine, guys. Let's go next. Let's go next. Let's fucking go. We go to zero, easy. We go to two, one. Two one, bro, not to zero. No, we we go to zero. Let's go back to good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. I heard the game. It was like from the beginning a lot of Russian. I even like gave the headset to chosen. Like, bro. 
I don't know. I guess we were kind of sleepy. English, English mode? Like, uh, like the American, the guy to push comes in English, you started delaying yeah. in Russian. No, negative. Like, use as warm up. Yeah. Use as warm up. Use this 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 as warm up. Guys, listen, very important. I saw uh, five, uh, I see five heroes bottom, way, uh, bottom, like show here. Please focus, uh, please uh, attention, guys. Uh, it's very important, I'm sure, look, why we, we was winning games? Because I was getting whole, all bounces in games, were snoops. The good teams controlling uh, areas. I need help, please help me. Enemies five bo bottom, five bottom. Please, please. Please risk it a bit, risk it a little bit on heroes. Come to take bounces. B bounces is very important. Yes. When for heroes bottom, take bounty top. If they do for tips to kill you, it's it's Dota 2. Okay, do it. He's in on to Kanoemi, the curse is there, but the damage from the impetus is bringing Kanoemi down low. Get the cold, it breaks off. Kanoemi tries to scramble back over to his teammates, but he'll get left behind. Kanoemi out for 50, buybacks available. Skeeter, looks like he wants Amar. to try to continue chasing, wants it. Oh, and they found it. him! Skeeter's in with the Dragon Tail, Watson's not going to be getting back to the base right now. The buybacks are coming out, they're trying to save him, but Watson's gone. Out for 90, no one, he's got them coming in with the first round, but they just don't have the damage to kill Falcons off as Maori survives. No one has the ever gone, GG is called. Falcons take the series 2-0. It's good result, like to five, to five, six, and all whole world. But I was so sure we could uh, go better because meta is good for us, and we played well. Yes. Some players just had a stress on stage. We didn't play that we played. Um, also, it starts even on draft when we just one player want to play some heroes and he really comforted this, but others just declined because of fear or something. And yeah, and just, just, yeah. <laughs> Just two two games was hard. We finished at two five six. Not the worst result, but not the best for sure. I was hope not not hoping. I was believed that like we we could make it like top three, top four at least this year, but didn't make it. I don't know. Of course, <laughs> uh, Dragon, of course. I mean, honestly, rosters and Dota are shuffling like in a day. So like TI was always like you can sh you can shuffle like five six teams in like two days. So you don't know what's gonna happen. Thanks all fans uh, for cheering us, thanks my fans who say some good words uh, to my family who, who support me, uh, everyone, uh, thank you. Next year will be better, I promise. Kind of what I'm playing for in Dota, to be at the main stage, to feel this crowd like cheering for you, to improve, to prove your best at this situation. And uh, I mean, I didn't prove my best this year, uh, but uh, hoping for the next.